Hey guys, Raver here, and today I'm going to talk about Indigo Rain by Watts Martin, which I've had for two years now. I picked it up in 2017 when I was at Texas Fair Fiesta, and I met Watts Martin, he's a cool dude, I was, I was a pretty awkward fan, <laughs> and I got it to sign it. And uh, while I did read uh, his, his newly novel then, Kismet, on the plane ride home, uh, I haven't read Indigo Rain. I, I've had it, and I'm like, I think I definitely forgot I had it um, for like at least the past few months. Because uh, I, I was looking through my bookshelf, and I'm like, I need, I need to do something this week. Uh, I've been leaving it, and then I'm like, oh, I'll read it. Oh yeah, shit, I'll read that. Like I can knock that over quickly, and I did. I mean, I didn't read much yesterday because I was pretty sick before I went for work, and, and um, I knocked over the, the other half I had to do this morning. Uh, and yeah, I, I actually really enjoyed Indigo Rain. <laughs> okay, so I okay, so stupid thing is I did a earlier recording which I trust, and I remembered at the start of it to talk about the the artist. So I'm gonna cut this in somewhere at the start, and it's gonna be weird, and, <laughs> and then I'm gonna talk about the story. So lovely artwork by Sabretooth Airline, uh, who's a Canadian artist, and she did great work. I really love this cover, and it's a like, wraparound cover. So you got. This year here, and I, I assume that's Mr. Blue. There wasn't a, there wasn't a wolf here, so uh, sadly there's no Greg here. Um, actually, I, I love Greg here. Um, but yeah, so there's three interior illustrations as well, and as much as I love uh, the, the the cover, the the indigo palette, uh, I my favourites are definitely the interior illustrations that are black and white, grayscale, or whatever you say. And, uh, yeah, just, I think that a lot of the, the detail I like in her artwork comes stronger in, um, those interior illustrations than the cover, but, like, a little bit, a tiny bit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pronounce these city names, and uh, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna struggle remembering them, but bear with me. Um, so it follows Roulette, who's, uh, uh who's, uh, uh pr probably, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced, like, uh, pr Prisia, not, like, a Prokia. Um, who's, who's this, um, raccoon girl, like, uh, cause all the, the animal species in this world, um, uh, like, they, they have, you know, their, their proper names, uh, but it's, it's considered a bit, a bit racist to just call them raccoons or cats or wolves, um, uh, yeah, I'll, okay, so, uh, to elaborate a bit more, um, so, yeah, so it's, a, it's a shared world with, uh, humans and, and third races, uh, in a sort of, um, Kind of, there's, 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 like, a mix between, like, magic and I think there's some mentions of clockwork. So, in my mind, I was thinking of, like, the, the Thief series of games. Uh, like, more, more the, uh, the original, uh, the old ones back in the 90s. They looked, like, fucking horrible. But, like, I really got a lot, a really good sense of that theme, uh, connection going on there. And it was, it was really, like, I think it really helped that I had that kind of visual connection in my head, like, really imagine the, the city of, um, oh, uh, it was, it was Akron, it was Akron, um, so, yeah, really imagine the city of Akron, um, so, yeah, so it follows along Roulette, who's this dancer, and she's been in, uh, Akron for a couple of weeks now, um, she's been in the country, I, I can't remember the name of the country, uh, for a while, I think maybe, couple months. Um, she, she originally moved from her hometown, Orenf, uh, with one of her friends, and they had a job in another city that didn't pan out, uh, the way they hoped, and so they kind of parted ways, and she sees being, using her, her dancing skills to kind of move from town to town, and her, her eventual goal is to get enough money, uh, to be comfortable when she moves to, um, the capital, uh, was it, uh, Renadrus, I think it was pronounced, um, and she hopes there to find a, a comfortable life, to marry, kind of into, like, a, a rich husband, um, and yeah, that kind of gets turned upside down when, uh, she, uh, she goes along with this, uh, this man, it, um, who, because, uh, like, so she's, she's like a, she's like a dancer, but she does, like, sort of erotic dances for, for people when she feels comfortable, and she kind of, kind of trusts them. She has a glide rules, like, no touching, and it's just a dance. Um, but like, that's, you know, it's, I really like how she, 
conveys that early to to the reader how comfortable she is with it. Uh, yeah, she so she takes up this um, mysterious man uh, up on uh, uh, his offer and it turns a bit. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't turn out the way she was hoping, and she gets uh, kind of swept up in this sort of like uh, underground conspiracy between um, uh, this uh, kind of racist pro-human right uh, group and uh, and the, um, I guess, uh, the, 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 I guess probably more the, the, the third peoples um, in the, the city of Akron. Uh, and while it's not, like, a heavy conspiracy, like, I quite like how it's kind of, she's kind of stuck in this situation, and it's not like, you know, town crossing, it's like these two small groups, and I quite like how comfortable it is. Uh, you know, it's like, just like kind of like one person has a bit of an extreme plan, and the other person has to stop it. And, you know, it's it's not, it's not over the top, and it's not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Suppressing something like that. Um, oh, yeah, it's not suppressing. It's something similar to that. Um, confines place. Uh, suffocating. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. It's not suffocating. And I think. Um, yeah, it's one thing I really love about Indigo Rain is that it has a really strong tone throughout the whole piece, and um, yeah, like all the characters are quite solid. Like. Um, as much as I started hating, um, oh, was it like, Tehran? This this orange tabby towards the end. Like I think I was projecting a bit too of my own um, uh, judgment on character of him towards the end. Like he's probably nowhere near as bad as I'm thinking. But I'm like, you're evil, Mister Orange Tabby. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> like he's probably just like misunderstood. But like, nah, I hate ya. Um. Yeah, so, like, um, so, uh, yeah, so, like, the other characters we kind of meet, I'll, I'll leave it a bit vague, but I, will, I like Leisha, who's this, um, tall, kind of, dumb, strong, uh, vixen character, and I really love Gregor, who's this, um, I, I don't know, I feel he's a bit young, I don't know how, he, I quite like, um, how, uh, Roulette kind of con conveys the, uh, the uncertainty, uncertainty, fuck it, uncertainty she has of uh, the ages of like kind of everyone around her uh, I, I, I like how it's it's conveyed more as like um she's on soul because of this circumstance because she's uh, after this she's swept up in, in this conspiracy she kind of has to stay at this uh, this homeless shelter for like the, the AIDS society for these third races and um and yeah, so there's, there's a lot of people there, like, she's like, oh, they, they're probably, like, she's like, they're probably, like, my age, but, like, they're a bit worn, like, their clothes are worn, and they're not as well kept, so it's a bit hard to tell, uh, which I, I think is, it's, it's interesting, like, um, because that's something I always think about in fairy writing, it's like, like, how would you tell someone's age, like, a bit more precise than, like, looking young, old, and very old, <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah, so, um, uh, I think I'll touch a little bit on, like, uh, I guess more the, the, the politics of it, like, I quite like, um, the politics of the story, it's not, it's not, like, strong and over the top as, uh, I, I guess I've read in the past, it's a lot more comfortable and, and grounded, um, and while, it, you know, these people are horrible people, I'm not excusing that, but I like how, um, uh, I, oh, I, how to put this the most tactfully, like, um, uh, their point of view is perceptible, but it is not correct. <laughs> I think uh, that's probably the, uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to put it. Um, yeah, so, it's basically, like, like, yeah, it's perceptible, but it's not correct, like, it, uh, you know, like the real world, it's, like, it's completely f fucking bonkers, <laughs> um, it's like, you know, they, you know, it's like, how can you have this opinion when they're, like, right there, <laughs> it's like, they, they're just like you, but, you know, uh, 
you know, how can you have this superiority opinion when, you know, especially in a world of, like, magic and shit, you know, like, magic trumps science, uh, you know, at least in my point of view in these worlds, uh, like, where there's this mass, like, um, mixture of, um, I guess, technology and, so and magic, uh, also, science and magic, not technology. I don't know where I'm going. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up. I, yeah, so, Indigo Rain. It's really cool. Um, hopefully it wasn't a bit too wishy-washy there. Um, I really am glad I read it. Um, I, yeah, hopefully I'll read it again soon. Um, uh, Indigo Rain by What's Martin can be picked up from Fur Planet. Uh, it is on Bad Dot Books, unless I'm horribly misremembering that, um, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I think I've seen it on Rabbit Valley's catalogue in the past, and, um, I'm not sure if Jaffa Books have it, but if they do, I'll have a link there, and anywhere else I find it. So, yeah, so, yeah, definitely check it out, definitely buy it, it is great, uh, and yeah, so I've been Rafer, and I'll catch you later.